thank you for your question. Um, yeah, our pro approach is known by ourselves, uh, but that doesn't have to be discussed here, I guess. Um, you know, we can play different styles. We can change during halftime. We can change during the game. I have uh, 26, 27 players available who can play different styles. And it's our job now tomorrow to maybe surprise uh, Guinea. Uh, we studied them. We know their qualities. We know how they play. They played three games with similar formation. Maybe they surprise us tomorrow also. You don't know. But uh, I'm sure that the 11 players who will come tomorrow on the pitch uh, will be ready to battle for their life in a tactical discipline and with quality on the ball. And um, we are also aware that it could be a long game. I mean, now we played always 90 minutes. From now on, it can be 120 and penalties. So um, we have to prepare for everything. But um, I think we are ready for this task. And um, we really would like to stay longer in Cameroon because we love Cameroon. Um. Thank you. Well, uh, I think uh, everybody in the team is motivated. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here, to be on this uh, knockout stage. Um, it's true that not a lot of people like uh, expect us to be here, but uh, if you are in the team, you will not be surprised because uh, we have a lot of quality in the team. But it's true Guinea is uh, the most experienced team. It's the favorite, but. Uh, I think we are ready, we will be present, and uh, we will compete. We are very motivated, um, we, because we want to achieve uh, great things for our country. Uh, it's true that uh, most, uh, most of the people in Gambia, they are not like appreciating what we are doing because they said we are playing defensively. It's true, but uh, considering like a lot of things here, the, the heat and so many other things, I think uh, it's not uh, wise to be pressing like 100% uh, up front because you leave a lot of spaces behind. But uh, like you said, we have to, he's our coach, we have to respect his uh, tactics and uh, it's working, so why, why should we change? Yeah, I have full confidence in the players. For me, it's the biggest honor uh, to work with these guys. And not only my players, also the whole staff around me, from my coaching staff to my medical team, supporting staff. We are one family. And we started the journey three and a half years ago. And uh, every day is a pleasure to work together. And um, working with these, with these players, it's, it's amazing. I mean, the boys are willing to, to listen. They execute. I heard the, the word like a drilled army, but uh, you have to have the discipline to do it, and uh, I always tell my players, uh, 90 minutes you don't have to have fun. The fun has to be after the match, and there are teams who have fun during the game but cry after the match, and I would like to uh, have no fun during the game but have fun after the match, and uh, that, that's what we, what's our motivation. I mean, winning is a sweet taste, and, and you want to experience that more and more. And working with these guys, we have a group of, like I said, 27 players available here who are really battlers, who love their country. It's the passion for your country, what's also important. That was also the reason of my selection criteria. I need not the best players, I need the best team. I need a group of players who are eager to work and give everything and are proud to be here. Playing for a national country, being coach of a national country is something unique. There are 211 countries in the world. There are millions of football clubs, but there are only 211 countries. And hearing that anthem must give you that energy, that uh, dynamic to, to give everything for your country. We are representing the 2.2 million Gambians in Gambia and all over the world. And we have to fight for them and make Gambia proud and put them on the map. And that's the motivation. That's our target. And uh, we hope it doesn't stop on Monday night. Uh, and we will do everything to, to continue the journey. Good question. Um, but we had that relationship in 2018-19 with Jamal Belmadi, and twice we kept a draw. Tomorrow there will be no draw. It will, in the worst case, end in penalties. Kaba is a fantastic guy, starting trainer. Um, he has a bright future. Uh, he's a fantastic personality. And I wish him all luck in his career, except tomorrow.
so um, tomorrow we will see, but I don't feel it as, as a battle between us both. I mean, uh, we are friends and it doesn't matter what the result is tomorrow, we will be friends also after that. Um, but he, he did a great job. I mean, he qualified Guinea for the second round. Uh, he did a great job. He took only over from another friend of me, DDA6, who is also a very close friend of me. Um, and um, Kabaya will make his career, but uh, he must wait, I hope, for, for the next AFCON. But uh, we will fight tomorrow and uh, we will see on the end if uh, Gambia is better than Guinea. It's not a battle between Kaba and Tom. It's a big honor to represent your country and uh, I think right now we are very happy the players. It's a very big honor, the greatest pleasure really to be able to qualify the Gambia to the next round because a lot of people here now, you know the Gambia because we are going to the next round and I think that's a great pleasure and uh, we don't want to stop here, we want to achieve great things for our country, we want to keep going. That's uh, what I what I want to say to you. We are very very motivated, and uh, we want to achieve like continue achieving greatest things for Gambia. Thank you. Uh, we have one player who had properly yesterday malaria, had high fever, tested negative on malaria, tested negative on COVID, did twice a COVID test, was still negative, got malaria medication, and as today no uh, fever anymore. Maybe trains today. Um, for the rest, uh, everyone is ready. We have no COVID cases, not in uh, the player staff and not in the, the, the supporting staff. So uh, everyone looks healthy. The atmosphere is very good. Um, let me come back very short on the previous question from that side. The, the hotel and the treatment, uh, it's not professional. But we take our motivation out of that. We will not let us go down. It gives us more strength how more we get treated uh, like minnows, how more we show on the pitch that we are there to be respected.